I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, your friend Donald back yet again for another video review. And as you can see, we're going to be looking at the Transformers Collectors Club 5.0 series Pretender Megatron. Uh, as you can see, we got his shell, we got little Megatron, and we got Space Case. All these guys are the, or excuse me, Space Warp, not Space Case. Uh, all these guys come with the 5.0 Clutch Club Series figures. These are the, actually the last two of my series on them. Or uh, the next to last video of them, excuse me, of it. We got uh, one more video after this one, which we're going to look at, of course, the Optimus Prime mold. But uh, we're going to look at this one first. First off, I want to show off the te technical data card. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got a nice image here of Space Warp, Megatron's tank mode, his robot mode, and of course the shell and like battle readiness. It says uh, embrace tyranny or forfeit peace. Those are the choices the universe offers. Basically Megatron's quote. And it's a pretty cool little, I, I do like this. It's got his stats are way up there. It's actually his intelligence is 10 plus, uh, so is his rank. His fire blast and his skill are all above 10. So that's actually pretty cool that they have that just there. His weakest, of course, is his speed, but not by much. Uh, but it, it is pretty cool that they have it like this. I do like this card. Of course, have the rare standard paperwork. We also have his accessories that come with them. We had his gun, which is a... From what I've, I've found out, this is like a repainting, reuse of the target or excuse me the titan master uh sentinel prime i do believe or uh alpha trion it's it's like one of the one of those figures reuses uh also the sword is actually uh, actually i take it back it's the sword it's actually from that i'm not sure which one the uh the gun is from but it's the sword is a reuse from the alpha trion titan master so I mean, it, it's not bad. It's not a bad sword at all. I do like the detail work here on it. It does have some nice, real nice detail work. I kind of wish that the this wasn't here. If they had taken this off, uh, it, it'd been great if it had like the shell had like a little peg back here. We can kind of store it just to kind of keep it out of the way. I think that would be a great use for that peg. But otherwise, it doesn't really have a use. Uh, I mean, you could probably shave it off if you wanted to, but we'll set that sword aside. And it also has this accessory, accessory excuse me, that uh, you can use when you put Megatron in the shell. But we'll get into this here in a little bit. We'll set the gun in that aside. We'll first look at a little space warp here. This is again is a remolding, repainting uh, from the. From a Generations figure, this is actually from the Generations Cosmos figure. He come with a little mini con like this. Uh, I believe its name was Payload. Was the name of it? Uh, but it, it's a nice repaint of it. It really looks like the Collectors Club figure where they released a few years back of the Armada Jetfire figure that they had. Uh, they did. They took it and they repainted it into Astro Train. And this kind of looks like the same paint scheme they used on that. So that's actually not too bad. I do like the purple on the wings with the little like tips or on the you know basically like on the flaps or the edge of the wing. I do like how that looks to it. And of course we got the big Decepticon logo on the back. And it's a nice nice color scheme. But this does have a simple transformation. All you do is basically grab it right here on the wing, fold this up like so. You turn around and that's it then you have space warp in his robot mode you do see it does have a little peg here that you can fold up and it can be used for basically using him as a weapon you can basically do that and basically a gun that's what basically he was for and there you can actually take it you can kind of put it you can put them on in Megatron's hand well, I'm just using this as an example for now, but you can do it on his t course in tank mode. And the shell 
can also hold them. So you can use it as a weapon there if you wanted to. It is kind of a little loose, as you can see. Doesn't set perfectly in there, but that, nothing real major with that. We'll pull that down. Again, some more nice detail paint work on this guy. I like this little greenish color here of the purple on his forearms and stuff. Make does make it look really good. He's got the purple here on the feet. Um, I kind of wish they'd use a little bit more there on his face just to bring it out a little bit more. It kind of makes it look real dark in there. It does have some nice detail on the face, but I think it just kind of makes it look too dark. But we'll go ahead and spa set uh, Space Warp here out of the way, and we'll look at Megatron. Megatron, of course, is another reuse of another mold of the Generations. This was basically uh, Warpath from the Generations line. You can see he does have some good movement with the turret because of the swivel that's in there for him. So it's not a bad use of the mold. It does have like the Tiger paint scheme on it, kind of reminiscent of the G Generation 2 style. But I, I wouldn't mind have seen this done completely as a G2 figure. Though I think we did get something like that before. Uh, to transform this guy, nothing at all hard to do with it. You want to unpeg the back part of the turn, uh, block, rotate this down on the side here. We'll do it from this angle. You can see how it you straighten all that out. You'll then fold this up in this direction. It does have tabs or not tabs, uh, two hinges here on each side. Fold that up. And you fold this again sadly it does have a peg here and do right there kind of see if I can get that a little better there's a peg hole right there above the wheel uh, if you can hear those dogs I do apologize for that my neighbor's dogs barking at something out in the road you can see it kind of when you straighten this foot out some more it does kind of hinder it a little bit in that when you flip it over we're going to do the same on this side fold it down straighten the foot out double hinge it up and fold it over as you can see it's doing it again on this side just gotta get it straightened out just right and it still doesn't want to quite do it there we go but uh Next, we'll go up here to the top part. You basically pull the arms right here apart. As you see, this is all pegged in for this arm. You want to just get it up to this point. As you can see, it's going to swivel right here. This is basically the you know swivel it uses for the tank turret to help it turn. You'll then push down on it to push it back up against the body. Fold this back. Once you make sure it's lined up right fold this back and basically it kind of pegs it down to the body once you do this you want to of course straighten the arms out by twisting here at the elbow do the same on this side but you want to kind of swivel the turn here back over on that side and there we have Megatron and his robot mode it's not a bad little mold he does have the G2 Decepticon logo basically there uh, He's not got a bad paint scheme other than I kind of wish they Lighted that up a little bit more on the face instead of it being black. They probably could have Used kind of the silver type of gray paint they used here on it or even the, the paint like they used here on the shell Just to bring it out a little bit more but Otherwise, it's still a pretty cool little figure As you see mine just kind of situated out better there we go. And that's it for Megatron. We're going to set him aside. We're going to look at the shell. Real quick, once I get him to stand up. There we go. The shell, of course, is a reuse of an older pretender shell from the Grand Maximus figure. Grand Maximus, if you don't know, is a repaint of Fortress Maximus, the big G1 Fort Max. Uh, this is basically a shell that come with the Grand Maximus figure. Basically what it's designed to do is to store Cerebros 
in there or the version of that from for or the Grand Maximus and we're just going to go ahead and well before I do that let's look at the shell itself it does have some real nice silver paint I do like this silver here on the vents same up here uh, it's got some real nice painting on this all together I think the silver just really brings it out that's what I'm most proud about the silver here again does shine it out I like the red here in the mid middle kind of reminiscent of the original Megatron in a way because he did have that little black waist with the little section in the middle it wasn't red granted I think the toy was but not the, the main bit uh, but still it's not bad at all he doesn't have other than his arms moving you know no articulation in that stance no legs or anything like that because this is like a G1 shell they weren't meant to do much but we'll unhook this or open the shell up we'll set the shell this front part down you take this section of the shell or the uh, Fort Max or Her Grand Maximus whichever figure you have and you basically want to set it in you can set it in like so with the legs kind of bent backwards just a little bit as you saw it's the, basically the way it's designed to really carry in this but you can close it back up as you can see that's basically what the shell was for uh, that's why this whole section here looks like that is because of the way Fort Maximus or the Cerebros's head or body was for Grand Maximus designed for for that I mean that you kind of can tell that's basically looks like feet there anyway nice also on the back detail I didn't show this off but some nice back detail work it was really nice painted down here you got that silver the black and the red there it does make that bring that out some more but we'll pull this out the thing about this go I go this figure though is uh, I'm gonna show you on the paperwork the paperwork shows you the transformation of uh, uh -oh. you know it does show you the paper kind of does show the transformation for Megatron and uh, space case there but when you look at the shell the image it does show it does show basically you're using Cerebros for the shell doesn't really show anything on how to put the Megatron in there at all but being the fan base we are, many people have figured out several ways to do this. To put Megatron in the shell and why this was part of it. One of the key ways to do this, I've seen people that they've basically, actually this was actually me when I first put this in here. Uh, basically what this is for is you take it and you're supposed to peg it onto the front part of Megatron here. Uh, straighten his arms out so I can show you better you basically is, is meant to attach like so on his chest and you take space case and these little pegs here go into that peg hole on him and that's how he's supposed to go in the shell with him uh, as you can see the only issue with that is is the pegs don't quite situate them in there just enough. You can see it doesn't like to sit. So a little, maybe a little nail polish right there will tighten that up just enough to put on there. But for now, you know, it's just going to fall back off. But uh, if you put them in there like this and you just set it in there and you close it up on his back, you won't have any trouble with him falling down. Now one thing that I, when I first got this, I was messing with it and I found that if you take it and you put the gun like so and you kind of bend his knees or not his knees excuse me his bring his legs up and of course fold his feet down you can kind of you also fold this hand up to uh, kind of sit Megatron in here like he's sitting in a throne basically if you did this like so uh, you could of course put space case in there on the little pegs but it, it's going to kind of hinder it a little bit this was one way I found to do it uh, if I'm not lining up the holes right but this is close enough for now as you can see it's he's kind of laying back 
you can take the other shell piece and close it up on it and that that was basically how I figured out how to do it as you can see in here you know space cases already come loose in there uh, I've seen another video or, or another bit where you take and you basically fold his legs if I can straighten his legs back out to how'd I do that again oh yeah you fold his legs like so you take and just turn his hips like so straighten his feet like so and then of course you have basically the same type of positioning for it and you can do it like like that in the shell and it does sit him a little bit more snug in there that's just another way you can do it as you can see it doesn't still doesn't quite sit perfectly in there uh, I'm sure if you wiggle with it it'll do it but again same with the space case you can still put it on the gotta make sure I line it up this time there line them up and then just again put the shell back together as you can hear he's already come loose in there I really need to put some nail polish on I actually got a project I'm working on now where I'm tightening up a joint on a figure with some nail polish I'm probably gonna set this guy over there or at least paint that little piece and get some on it that way I can go ahead and get two two birds with one stone but he's in there nice and secure you can take of course take the sword stick it in the hands and same with the gun and there you have it not bad at all uh, I, I like the sword again I wish kinda the uh, this peg wasn't there you could probably just shave that off uh, I kinda do wish the gun was a little bit different maybe a little bit bigger for him but it's, it's not bad I mean it's still the sword does not sit it sits in there snug, but you know, it's still a little loose. As you can see, it just, once you get it in there, it does kind of fit tighter. But that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video review for uh, Pretender Megatron. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. So please like, comment, and share this video. And I do, if you haven't picked this guy up yet, uh, TFCC, the Transformers Collection Club, has opened up their store for everybody to get in there. And I do believe they are selling this in the store. I will try and post the link down below for that. Uh, I do believe they've also posted the where you can buy the other ones. I do not believe they're cheap, though. I, I won't lie on that. I think I'm not sure on the pricing right as of this moment, but I do believe last time I looked, they were like a hundred and something dollars for each, of, basically each of these figures. But I do believe you can get like the uh, Star Scream and uh, I think it was Lifeline or something like that in a set. So, they're, those guys are being sold together, but like the, the, I think you can get the Megatron and the Prime together if you don't look on, besides eBay on the, on the Collector's Club. I, I can't be positive, but if there is one, I will try and post links down below for that. But this is Dom saying thanks again, guys, for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. And if you want to, please support me on Patreon. I have a link down below for that. And this is Dime Outside. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you soon.